All right, so we're going to check out the uh, soldering tweezers. And I did add probably somewhere between 5 and 10 pounds worth of shot in the bases. Uh, so this has got a good bit of weight to it. I'm going to set this off to the side. <clears throat> Here's the soldering tweezers. And as usual here lately, this is from Timu. We've got a holder. We've got soldering tweezers and the control units all together. Celsius because I'm not just about everything it seems like I do lately or for a while now with soldering has been in Celsius and on my soldering station which I haven't checked it but I know it's got to be wrong I have to get it up to according to the uh, controller on it 450 Celsius to get it to uh, melt soldier good so I don't think that's accurate um, should be able to do it lower than that so you get a, uh, a little manual and well here's a manual operation instructions okay well this is the instructions uh, plug it in and use it <laughs> I mean come on see <clears throat> well we'll go into some details on that maybe later uh, it's a WEP soldering tweezer set and I've seen people give these bad reviews uh, I'm gonna give you my review uh, what I think about them uh, WEP 938D ESD SAE soldering uh, tweezer a lot of people will take these and bend them down uh, they say they're better to be bent down I've had people say that they miss each other I've got to make that happen just closing them they meet I can make it I can make it miss I've, I've had people say in videos that they don't meet well, Mine tend to try to do to meet. So, okay. <clears throat> so, without reading the instructions, as per normal, when it comes to me anyway, let's take that off. I don't know if that is... I'm sure that's heat resistant, but I'm not going to find out. Got it plugged in. Celsius and turned it on. By default, it's set to 200 and it's building up. Started at about 100. Now it's at 200. All right. So let's get the uh, circuit board in place. <clears throat> Let's just set this off to the side. And what I'll try to do, if I can figure out 
how I'm just going to do this and then hopefully in editing I can zoom in better for you to see what I'm doing. I get better at this. I'll actually use my uh, stereo uh, microscope setup to and camera to uh, try to get some video showing uh, close-ups of this working or not working. Um, let's see if I can maybe get this in the shot so you can see what it's doing. So let's try to, you've got one, two, three, and four is just into the red. So I'm just going to bump it straight up to four and see that's 310. So you can see how fast it's building from 200 to 310. It says it's there. Of course, if this one is kind of like my soldering station, then we're going to need to try to get up into the 400s. But let's see what happens. That was just so easy. Let's take another one off. Oops. Again, super easy. Doesn't take but a second. Got to try to avoid touching other components. So I think maybe I will try to bend those down. Uh, Let's see, let's grab a resistor. Let's grab another resistor. Sorry if you can't see what's going on. So, these tweezers, I so far absolutely recommend. Uh, I think whoever was giving them the what fors uh, probably had a dud pair. Let's try to put the capacitor back on. That's not good. Let's Okay, what I need to do is get some tweezers. Really wasn't prepared to get in depth, but I'm kind of excited as to how well these work. Okay, so let's grab it, set it down in place. Let's see. Now that is, that's on there. That is on there. Awesome. So now, wow, I can remove and replace surface mount components. And look, I promise you, this is literally my first time using these things. I mean, you could tell they were just shiny as everything. They had not been used yet. Let's see. Is there... Oh. I haven't even tightened that up. Uh, you can see some of the mess I created with the... desoldering iron I really don't see any huge I mean those capacitors that I took off here were really about the biggest thing that I had on there that I don't see Let's try to take a super tiny resistor off. See how they work with that. 
and well, it's hard for me to see with the naked eye. I mean, literally that. You can see it on my finger. I don't know if it's focusing. That literally is a resistor. <sighs> it's almost impossible to see with the naked eye. Yeah, that's not really smart. I understand that. But my fingers pretty well grizzled. So that quick little contact with the soldering tip, I do not recommend you do that. Matter of fact, I tell you, do not touch your soldering iron tip, regardless. Let's go down. Let's see how, how high we really need to have it. Because I think this is much more accurate than my soldering station. Let's do really low. Let's try 280 Celsius. See if we can get a surface mount. This big old capacitor here. And we can. We can literally, even at 280. So I'm going to go down to 3. What does three give me? Right at about 250, 260. Let's uh, keep going until we can't get one off. off so even down to there but I would say about 290 seems to be a little bit of jumping in the display so let's just put it between three and four right about in the center and I'm pretty sure this is going to be, <laughs> forgive me, the bee's knees. Yeah. All right. I am very impressed. Uh comes with the little actually these come from the sea I think these are actually living sponges that they harvest out of the sea put water in it blows up so this is cool I really like this so uh, I don't know how long this has been hopefully we're gonna cut this down to be a short deal I got so excited pulling components off it was so easy and simple uh, so I would I would say we'd run this between right there at 300 so it's just before the red zone uh, the cooler you can run your iron and still still get something out of it you know semi decent usage the longer it's gonna last uh, the hotter you got to get it well then uh, let's see what is this in Fahrenheit 572 that's about right okay so Anyway, um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks and God bless.